Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, February 12th. And the headlines, milder and drier, certainly much calmer week coming up this week than what we've had over the last seven days. And uh, we're going to see temperatures quite cold the next couple of days. Highs today struggling to get into the low 20s and we'll be into the mid to upper 20s tomorrow. But uh, tonight we expect with fresh snow cover, clear skies and calm winds, some excellent radiational cooling. We can see temperatures tonight drop down to around zero degrees in some spots to about five degrees. And then we'll see a warming trend as we get into midweek with highs in the upper 30s to around 40. And Wednesday, I think low, possibly even some mid 40s in some areas as we get into Thursday, there could be a little bit of light rain or drizzle associated with the midweek uh, warm uh, air that's gonna be pushing in. And then overall next week, I think another seasonally mild uh, week coming up. We'll have a couple of cold days behind these systems, but I think next week we could be uh, quite a bit wetter and we may see plenty of rainfall and that may melt quite a bit of snow around the area. Winter's not over though. We expect some very cold temperatures to move in for this time of year once we get into about the last 10 days of the month into the beginning of March. So more snow likely and we're already uh, getting close to being uh, above normal for the entire year. We're getting real close. Again, the southwest heat ridge over the next uh, uh, about 10 days is going to allow for milder temperatures to get all the way up here into the Great Lakes and very warm conditions across the southeast U.S. Yesterday we had a high of 26, a low of 9 so far this morning, a low of 15, about a third of an inch of melted precipitation, half inch of snow over the last 24 hours ending at 7 a.m. That gave us a total uh, for the storm of 4 inches, and we got snow depth this morning of 10 inches on the ground here in Breckenridge. So far for the year, 38.2, that's 95% of the entire year snowfall, and we've got plenty of winter to go to exceed that, and most definitely we expect to. Again, you can see the total so far for the year, 38.2. 40 inches is what normal for the entire season. And you can see February, 15.2 inches, and our normal for the entire month is 9, and we're only halfway through the month. They're not even halfway through the month. And you can see in a graphical format, December and February, quite snowy around the area. Temperatures out there this morning, mainly in the teens across most areas. Again, cooler behind the secondary cold front, only in the single digits as we get back into Clarksville and Owego. And you can see here in Lakeview, we've got another station that we're going to add to our weather network uh, before spring gets here. Uh, and again, looking forward to that location as well. And if we look at satellite view this morning, you can see uh, most of the moisture across the southeast states. Again, this is cold air. You can see that's filtering into the uh, Great Lakes this morning. But uh, right on the heels of this is going to be a pretty warm gush of air that could bring some uh, light rain or drizzle to the areas we get into midweek. More importantly, though, a warming trend. And then behind that system will turn cold for a couple of days. But again, more uh, warmth. It looks like it'll come back for the next week with near to above normal. As far as uh, the weather map, if we look ahead at our next weather maker Wednesday, low pressure system well off to our west. Again, that push of mild air will create maybe a mix of precipitation across the northern MAC areas. But for the most part, this looks like primary, a very light uh uh, light rain drizzle, again, maybe some snow, but again, for the most part, it should be liquid thunderstorms across the deep south. Again, here's that big high pressure system that's going to keep the warm air trying to come into the Great Lakes as the cold fronts will have the cold air shunted off to the uh, northeast of the Great Lakes for the most part. And if we look at the uh, snowfall over the next 72 hours, very little. In fact, the next seven days, little to no snowfall expected across much of the MAC and LAC areas. Our forecast, again, it'll be a pretty cold morning out there, and then temperatures only in the low 20s today, dropping down to 0 to 5 above tonight. Very cold. Highs in the upper 20s on Tuesday. Again, plenty of sunshine, at least partly sunny skies to mostly sunny skies. And then we'll see more in the way of clouds as we get into Wednesday uh, night. Maybe some light rain very late, especially for the day on Thursday, with highs around 40 to the low 40s, and then we'll drop back in. Uh, to the 20s over the weekend before we warm up again later next week. So again, deep winter is going to be taking a breather here into next week, and uh, we'll have a chance to clean up, and we'll start to melt a little bit of the snow that's fallen. This morning on Weather Watch, very cold temperatures, wind chill advisories all the way from the Arrowhead back into the Dakotas, and some uh, winter weather advisories across the southern Ohio Valley into the Tennessee Valley. Again, no major systems expected this week for the Great Lakes, so it'll be a chance to catch up and take a breather. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.